after this video, I'm, oh, I just flipped you off. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. It has been a while and I apologize, but I can finally tell you why. Today we're gonna do something very fun, but first I wanted to let you guys know I'm very, very excited about a show on CNBC. It's called West Texas Investors Club and I actually got on the show as an inventor and got to introduce my product to the investors. It was a blast. I can't even explain what a wonderful experience it, it was. And in case you guys don't know, you may not know because I, I've done a couple of videos on my product. It's this thing right here. It's a pillow. The reason that I created this pillow is because people need to sleep on their back for one reason or another. I created it originally for wrinkles on the chest and on your face from sleeping on your side. You know, you do this to your face and you're sleeping and you wake up and you go, oh my God, lying there. Or you sleep on your side and you don't even have to have big boobs. They squish together and you've got these crinkly lines right where your cleavage is. It's no fun. I mean, there's all these things out there that, that claim to save you from those premature wrinkles. But the real problem, in my opinion, was you just got to stay on your back. And then I got a flood of phone calls and emails from people wanting to use the pillow for different reasons. And those reasons were either they just had surgery and not necessarily plastic surgery knee surgery, hip surgery, abdominal surgery, they needed to stay on their backs in order to heal properly and not hurt themselves. But of course, it's also good for the rhinoplasty and the augmentation because that keeps you on your back. So anyway, enough about the pillow, but see, look, I can't turn. Oh no. Oh no. I better stay. Oh. So I was in Texas, I did the show. I don't know when it's gonna air. I do know that the series starts August 4th, which is a Tuesday and it says 10 o'clock. I'm in the mountain area, so I have no idea what time it's gonna start, but I'm sure you're gonna find out. I'm not on the first show. I don't know what show I'm on, but I'll keep you guys updated. And I hope you watch because I'm pretty excited about watching it. Just looks like a really awesome show to begin with. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll put the trailer for the show, but that's not what today's video is about. It is about blackheads, getting rid of blackheads. I've done a video on using glue to get rid of blackheads, just the Elmer's glue. And then I did a video on two different kinds of horse strips. One was charcoal, one was regular Biore. And someone, one of you out there, gave me a comment on my last video about Mod Podge, and that was Malia. Thank you, and I'm gonna try it. Here it is, wait. There, Mod Podge. Now, I'm not sure about the consistency. I had this in my house because I use it for painting and I may have watered it down. I don't know, but that just means I'm gonna have to wait longer to actually peel it off. I tried a little bit on the little part of my nose and I peeled it up and it works. It smells terrible, but I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it on my whole nose and put it as close to the camera as I can to show you guys the grossness that is Lou. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I also want to shout out to Renee Cummings, Priscilla, who's from Brazil, Away Girl, MMG378. I don't know. She she wrote something fun. And just so you know, when you comment on my videos, I always respond. You guys have been saying the nicest things and I really appreciate it. And that's why I do this is because it's fun. I like it when people think I'm funny. It's kind of an outlet. Yeah, it is. It's an outlet. So let's get the Mod Podge on. I'm gonna come close, don't be scared. Yeah, it stinks. Not, too, not a big fan of the smell. Look. But that is one thing that I like about this is that it starts out white and once it dries, it's clear. So you know it's done. Okay, I'm gonna put two layers on. I'll be back in a minute. And actually I'm gonna throw another layer on there cause it's turning clear already. And I want it to be thick enough to get a good piece of peel so you guys can actually see. Okay kids, the Mod Podge has dried. You can't even tell that well, yes, you can. I look like I have sort of a glazed donut nose. It's a little shiny, but I put several layers. And now the trick is seeing where 
it started and where it ends. Where is it gonna roll up? Where is it? <laughs> you guys, I don't know how to get it off. Okay, oh, there. See, look, something's peeling up. It's peeling up. It's starting to lift. So I am going to peel it off and have a little look-see. I don't think I did it thick enough. That's my problem. I'm super impatient. I even went in the other room and blow dried it. Patience is a virtue and I have none of that virtue. I have some virtue. What's virtue? Here it is, here it is. So I have this little piece of dried Mod Podge that I just took off of my nose. I don't know how to show you up close. Oh look, there's where the light's coming in through my window. Can you see? You probably can't, but it looks like little hairs that were pulled out of my face. How gross is that? So my suggestion would be to put, I don't know, three thick layers. Again, I may have watered down my Mod Podge, but I see it. I would uh, recommend giving it a whirl because this is at the dollar store and I wanted it to dry really quickly because it smelled really chemically and I almost passed out of asphyxiation. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are big words for me. So Mod Podge to get rid of blackheads, put three layers, wait till it's dry, dry, like not only clear, but just feeling really tight on your face and peel it off and then bye bye blackheads. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna pick my nose. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. I always respond to any questions, especially compliments. I like those. I respond to those very well. Just kidding. Please subscribe. I've got some fun stuff coming up and after this video, I'll put like a trailer or a preview or something of West Texas Investors Club. I'll let you know what episode I'm on and that's it. Bye guys. Deep in the heart of Texas, removed from mainstream America, three lusty and boisterous men carved a fortune out of this harsh and unforgiving land. I'm not sure if I put my bottom line up against Donald Trump, I might be ahead of the son of a bitch. No one gave him a damn thing except the moxie to get off their ass and do something. And they did it. Butch and I have actually done it all. We started from the bottom up. Drilling oil wells. I've got the cattle business. I'm 50-50 partners with the world's largest steel corporation. While the rest of America chases spreadsheets and trends. I was going to invest in Facebook, but the technology part of it is not my forte. These self-made men develop their own investment strategy. We're looking at the person first and the business second. But you don't know anything about Enough, man. Let's come back to reality. They look past the bottom line. When people ask us for this kind of money, I'm going to get to the bottom person. What does that mean? And into the heart of a man. It did not take me long to realize this is a quality young man. Thank you. Let's load your stuff up and let you do your show and tell in front of a crowd. Let's get the damn party started. These are the stories of the intrepid entrepreneurs. Do you think this is a fair deal for us? Searching for investment. I thought we went to 40. No, we didn't. We're going to have to stop drinking beer during these negotiations. Come on! Jesus Christ. You don't know me. You don't know me. We believe in the product. We don't believe in you. From the men who call themselves the West Texas Investors Club. Can you believe we own an app now? We're high-tech son of bitches now. I don't care what anybody says. What does that app stand for? Do application you know? or something. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Application. application. Like, Makes sense.